Hi, this Hi, is Dr. Yes. Stanley Kim, the hematologist at Stanley Kim Clinic for Blood Disease and Cancer in Claremont, California. Today, we will discuss immune thrombocytopenia. Immune thrombocytopenia is better known as ITP. ITP is not that uncommon disease. We estimate that there are about quarter million ITP patients in the U.S. Normally, platelets live seven to 10 days after they are released from the bone marrow, but Playlists of ITP patients have a much shorter lifespan, maybe one, two days. Why? We like to discuss in more detail and thank you for watching. Immune thrombocytopenia, ITP, is also called idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. Uh, but we don't use this term much anymore because we know the cause of ITP is autoimmune, not idiopathic, and the most patients uh, don't have purpura. It's an autoimmune bleeding disorder with a platelet count less than 100,000 per microliter. It's caused by mainly destruction of platelets coated with autoantibodies in the spleen, so the uh, platelet lifespan is shortened. And also, uh, it's caused by decreased production of platelets in the bone marrow. Uh, in primary ITP, uh, there is no known triggering condition, but in secondary ITP, uh, it's associated with another factors such as viral infection or autoimmune disease like lupus. When the uh, duration of ITP is less than three months since diagnosis, it's called newly diagnosed ITP. Uh, when the duration is over 12 months, it's called chronic ITP. Usually, uh, it's chronic in adults but frequently acute and often self-resolving in children. How the ITP develops? Look at this picture. It looks quite complicated, but actually simple when you follow the numbers. Number one, in the bone marrow, megakaryocytes produce the uh, platelets, which are released to the bloodstream. Number two, plasma cells differentiated from B lymphocyte produce the IgG immunoglobulin, which are autoantibodies. Number three, the autoantibodies bind the uh, platelets through the uh, platelet GP2B3A receptors or GP1B9 receptors. Number four, the platelets coated with autoantibody are taken up by macrophage in the spleen and destroyed. Number five, Macrophage in the spleen function as APC, antigen presenting cells, and it presents to the CT, CD4 plus T lymphocytes. CD4 plus T lymphocyte is the uh, helper T cells, stimulating B lymphocytes and the plasma cells to produce furthermore uh, autoantibodies. Number six. In the spleen, there are CD8 plus T lymphocytes, which are cytotoxic T cells, attacking uh, the platelets coated with autoantibodies and they destroy them. Number seven, at the same time in the bone marrow, the same CD8 plus T cells also attack the megakaryocytes, make them regress and they die. Number eight, TPO, the thrombopoietin, is the growth factor for the platelet production. Usually, it's produced in the liver and the uh, kidney. In T ITP, the TPO production is decreased, reducing further uh, uh, production of platelets. ITP patients usually don't have a symptoms unless the platelet counts are very low usually below 30,000 per microgram, microliters. When they bleed in the skin or mucous membrane, you can see petechia, purpura, or uh, ecchymosis. They are not palpable and not itch. Patients can have a nose bleeding, prolonged or frequent. You can see serious severe bleeding when the platelet counts drop below 20,000. In this case, intracranial hemorrhages are seen in 1 to 2% of patients. Heavy uh, uh, GI bleeding or uh, urinary bleeding, uh, GYN 
bleeding are seen in 10% when the platelets counts are dropped below 20,000. Usually, the WBCs and RBCs are normal, unless the chronic, chronic bleeding uh, caused the uh, iron deficiency anemia. Also, PT, PTT are normal. When those parameters are abnormal, you have to consider other uh, disease conditions like leukemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, or even DIC. ITP is the disease of exclusion. The diagnosis of primary ITP is basically made by excluding other conditions causing thrombocytopenia. We do a good uh, history and physical asking the history of medications, uh, herbs, or drinking tonic waters. The tonic water contains quinine, the cause of ITP. We check the skin for bruises, uh, mucous membrane, uh, size of lymph nodes, and the liver spleen. Laboratory tests include CBC, comprehensive metabolic panel. I sometimes check vitamin B12 folate level because these deficiencies can cause thrombocytopenia. ANA, if suspicious for connective tissue disease or arthritis. Examining the peripheral blood smear under microscope is very important. We have to make sure there are no platelet clumpings because you can have a false uh, a thrombocytopenia. I can explain more in the next slides. We check the size of uh, uh, platelets. Hepatitis C and the HIV virus infection can cause the uh, uh, thrombocytopenia. Helicobacter pylori infection is the uh, cause of ITP. It's quite interesting uh, because when you eradicate those infections by antibiotics, you can see the response in 30 to 50 percent of patients. Occasionally, uh, Hashimoto thyroiditis can uh, cause the ITP, so we check the thyroid function uh, if suspicious. Before starting rituximab or IVIG therapy, we check the hepatitis B surface antigen and the hepatitis B core antibody, IgG, IgM. I will explain more in detail in the uh, treatment of ITP. Normally, we don't do the bone marrow biopsy unless uh, we suspect other hematological conditions. It's important to know commonly used drugs causing thrombocytopenia. Antibiotics include piperacillin, cephalosporins, linezolid, the Zyvox uh, for the MRSA infection sulfur drugs, vancomycin and the rifampin, anti-epileptics including carbamazepine, phenytoin, valproic acid, platelet uh, GP2B3A inhibitors, uh, those are used for the uh, uh, after cardiac procedures like a coronary artery uh, stand form placement to prevent the platelet aggregation. Commonly used drug is abiciximab, Heparin can cause heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. Anti-malarial drugs, quin uh, quinidine and the quinine, especially quinine is the uh, uh, ingredient of tonic water. I like to show the peripheral blood smear of my patients who came to me uh, with the low platelet counts. Look at these platelet clumps. Three to five platelets clump. And the CBC machine count those platelet clump made of three to five platelets as one, falsely lowering the uh, true number of platelet uh, platelets. This is called pseudo thrombocytopenia. It's not a true thrombocytopenia. It's also called superior thrombocytopenia. When you measure that platelet counts in the green top tube containing heparin or blue top tube containing so sodium citrate solution, the platelet counts become normal. Normally, we use the uh, lavender top tube containing EDTA. The EDTA solution tend to cause platelet clumps. Now, I like to show the large platelet commonly seen in ITP patients. These patients have a platelet counts 30,000. And a look at the normal uh, size of platelets and this is large platelet. Interestingly, the large platelets have a better hemostasis function than smaller ones.
but it doesn't mean that these large platelets are younger platelets. We know uh, ITP is the uh, disease of exclusion because there is no reliable test to confirm the diagnosis. What about measuring platelet autoantibody? Because ITP involves platelet autoantibody mediate platelet destruction, detecting the uh, platelet autoantibodies may help to diagnose the ITP. Does it make sense? Hmm. Well, recently the study revealed that detecting test a direct testing for autoantibody on the platelet surface has a 53% sensitivity and a 93% specificity. In other words, uh, only about 50% of patients uh, have a positive test. But once the test is positive, we are sure that almost always it's, it's the uh, uh, ITP. But this direct testing for autoantibodies are kind of difficult to do because many laboratory uh, 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 companies don't do this test. Mostly, we do the indirect testing for autoantibody in the serum or plasma, but it has only 18% sensitivity uh, and the higher uh, specificity. So the direct plate autoantibody testing may be useful to rule in the diagnosis when it passed positive, but cannot rule out when it is negative. American Hematology Association does not recommend to use this platelet autoantibody testing for diagnosis ITP. Why? Because it has a very low sensitivity, only 18%. When the uh, ITP patients develop autoimmune hemolytic anemia with a positive direct Coombs test, it's called Evans syndrome. It also frequently accompanied with the uh, immune neutropenia. The treatment of ITP will continue in the next YouTube presentation, and thank you for watching.